Hey folks, welcome back. Well, we're going to do a little alternator upgrade here on this uh, 2002 7.3 Power Stroke. This will also work with um, this exact upgrade we're going to do with the uh, 6 liters and stuff. Um, there's just a tiny bit of difference. We'll go over that a little bit. Um, so this is a 110 amp alternator. Um, it's probably been in here, I think I replaced this alternator um, about a year ago or something like that. It's working, but man does it get really hot like I just started this uh, pickup up out you know from outside uh, drove it around the block brought it right in the shop here and it is so hot that you cannot even touch like even right now it's been sitting here for about 20 minutes yeah I yeah it's not gonna burn me but it's it's dang sure it's super hot um, these are just weren't really made that good and, and with all the glow plugs and the cranking of the engine and have to start it or whatever these really really get used a lot um and you end up having to replace seems like having to replace them about every couple of years or so uh so what we're gonna do this is what they would afford would, would uh this, this is a like a 6g um which i think refers to like the generation or something like that i don't know but this is a 3g here this is a 130 amp alternator so it's got a different uh plug setup and everything but it fits with these the the original bolts and everything like that um you can see it's it's a it's bigger in diameter than this alternator so really what we're going to have to do uh and this will be the difference between on the 7.3s versus the uh six liters um if you uh we're gonna have to put a little bit of a spacer in between right here and i'll show that to what we're going to use just because this base right here kind of hits you know like down in the saddle area here um but that doesn't happen with the six liters that have the alternator over here uh, there's plenty of room for this particular alternator to go on there and then um, i'll show you the uh how we're going to wire it and all that stuff so let's we'll keep on going all right so what i wanted to show you here is uh you know see it looks looks kind of you know like it would be be fine but if you push back here you see it just doesn't sit in there and it's hitting right down below there so what we need is you can use some washers or something like that to uh get it spaced about that far it really doesn't need to be that far and the belt still fits everything's good okay so what i'm going to try is i'm going to use a couple of these what they are is you know they're just shaft collars to uh go underneath the here and space that thing out okay so we got that you know in there got these all snugged up um and the belt you know fits right over um i even had the belt cockeyed on this pulley right here but still was able to manage to get it on here so you got enough room enough room for the bolts to sink enough threads in there and uh it fits real good all right as far as the wiring goes you know this is a different style of plug right here so you need to get a um, plug like this, and this is uh, Napa's part number for that particular uh, plug. They're fairly expensive. You can get them online and stuff. You need a plug, you know, like this. This is, you know, look at, um, just get them online. You know, just look up Ford single terminal alternator. And just Google it or whatever, and you'll come up with, um, there might even be some companies that actually make this whole thing set up you know but i don't know that for sure and then the only other thing is, is this green wire needs to go and match up with this uh green wire here because this is your switch speed plus that runs via through the um uh battery light um and the other one we're just going to uh basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to snip this wire this green wire right here and then i'm going to butt connect it here but i'm going to leave enough room so that uh I can still have this plug in here and tape it all up and then all I have to do is just reconnect this green wire if let's say I decide I wanted to put the, you know I'm going to keep that alternator in this pickup as a spare you know if I needed to wire it back up or something like that you know so that's pretty much this white wire you know this is going to plug in and it's going to go oops got to do it the right direction there's a little terminal down in there but it's gonna get plugged in there uh, okay just like that 
and then obviously this yellow wire is going to land right straight on to the uh, battery terminal there or you can go run it to the battery whatever you want to do and then this will plug in like that and then like I said I'm just going to uh, take this wire right here and join it into there because see right now it's not going to work but if you go in here and you turn the key um, there's no battery light or anything like that so okay um, but see once you get this uh, you know I just butt connected that and just, what I'm going to do is just take this and just going to you know stick it down here I'm going to tape it all up keep it all clean you know and zip tie all this to gather and everything but you see now when you hook that up look right over in that direction see now we've got the battery light and uh, we didn't have that before because you're completing that circuit so <clears throat> then that's gonna it's gonna trigger the alternator work but it also completes that battery because all that battery light does is tell you that that circuits complete in the alternator and that it's it's supposedly charging that's really all it does it's nothing to do with the batteries really it's pretty much going through this alternator so anyways let's um fire this thing up Yeah, these these particular gauges aren't quite as you know that good without any other marks and all that kind of stuff but um, you can see that this thing is a little bit more than halfway up and that's kind of telling you you know that it's that's where it's supposed to be normally so if you drop it and seen it halfway or a little bit below you know it's not charging so or obviously if it's clear up here it's overcharging so uh, it'd be better if they'd have had some hash marks or some numbers and stuff like that in there but anyways you know we got our battery light there that's uh you know we'll go ahead and we'll shut this off and, and uh watch that operate for just a second not that it's a huge deal i'm just gonna do it but you know like that battery light will just stay on there watch all the rest of these kind of go out and everything but we'll go ahead and fire it up out immediately so that's working so. well that's a wrap for that so should be working just as good or better than uh, the original one so anyways uh, hopefully that helped you out thanks for watching